What's up everybody? You in the building with your old Uncle Mont and this is going to be a Life Gains fitness video because fitness has been the foundation for what has helped transform my life. I don't get a lot of views on these videos but the views I do get are people who are very passionate about the full circle of life gains and that's why I continue to do them and I engage, get a chance to engage with that audience a little more so let's jump into it. Let me put on my plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell, work on skilling up my craft, help me give you guys a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. Sponsors of this video are in the video description link. Go down there and check them out. My wife is doing a YouTube channel. She is a nephrologist at Duke. So if you've got people that's got kidney issues, hypertension issues, blood pressure issues, check the video description. I've also got some links in there to people that do different fat trimming programs, different nutritional programs that are in the video description. Check them out. So I haven't been doing my Life Gains Fitness videos. I haven't been taking off my shirt, showing as much of my cuts for the sluts, any of that stuff. But I do want you guys to know I am still training. Right now I'm training for a half marathon in October in Durham, Bull City Run. And I wanted to come up here and give you guys a video on why health equals wealth and what it has done for me. So first and foremost, if you guys haven't noticed, 75% of people in America are overweight. 75. And why? Because losing weight is hard as hell. It is one of the hardest things you have to do because life is so busy. Getting in shape and being in a good body fat somewhere around 15% or less is hard to do because life makes food convenient. Food is something some of us get pleasure from. Um, alcohol is something you get pleasure from. That doesn't necessarily help you be fit. Going to the gym takes time. You got to put it into your schedule. I mean, it's just a bevy of different things. So think about how that would relate to helping you be better in your business. It's helping you be better in life. The discipline that is required to be physically fit is put into a gym schedule and a plan and doing it, cooking, going to get your groceries and making that all work and sticking to it when you don't feel like going. That set of discipline is the same discipline people put in business, in their marriages, in their life, everywhere across the board. It just so happens that the fitness one is usually the hardest one. So just think, if you can get into a good schedule of being in a habit of going to the gym, working out your plan, cooking, buying your meals, and settle into that discipline, imagine how you might be able to translate that discipline to your side hustles, to your current job, and how you can be more productive. So being physically fit also leads to long-term gratification for you doing short-term work. Getting yourself physically fit, unless you've got 100 or more pounds to lose, the average person just by doing these discipline steps can get in decent shape in about six to eight to 10 months. Short-term gratification. But that short-term gratification can lead to long-term habits of good health, allowing you to live a longer, fuller life with more productivity and more quality of life, and then being able to live longer and spend all this money and enjoy it because you've worked all these years to save it and invest it and you're not some damn vegetable potato in a bed and you can't get out. That's another gratification of getting discipline and discipline making life better for you. It also makes you healthier, you know, creating better outcomes because fellas, you know, as you get older, if you haven't been taking care of yourself, that little wee wee of yours starts not to work properly. If you can maintain a level of physical fitness throughout your life, you are gonna be in a better position to be able to do all the things you was doing when you was 20s, even when you're in your 60s and 70s. I just happen to be blessed to be around coaches that are 55 plus, that are doing things 20 year olds aren't doing. I mean, these dudes is in great physical shape. And that has rubbed off for me. And when I was going through my various hard times with my business, the discipline of being on my diet made it easier to get through those hard times in business because all it required was a little bit more discipline in my business and I was able to do it because the dieting was so hard and part of my business 
didn't really feel all that hard. Which brings me to the last point, just being able to maintain that level of physical fitness is very hard. And by it being so hard, it makes all the other things in your life easy. Now, granted, once you start living this, once you put it into a lifestyle, it does become easier. It makes things easier. And then certain things that used to bother you and get on your nerves, you'll look at it and be like, well, damn, that doesn't bother me now. Why am I even sweating that? Because you have built a lifestyle of discipline around your physical fitness. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to leave me some comments. Why wait to New Year's to start getting yourself physically fit? Start it now. So when New Year's comes, you're ahead of the game. Let me know if you're incorporating a healthy and fit lifestyle into your journey, no matter what you're doing. Y'all know my story. Keep following it and I'll keep you informed. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Check that video description box for all the life games that might be down there that can help you make more gains in your lifestyle. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.